congratulating you with Thank Out you. of Deck Thank because you. this is your first feature length directorial debut. You've done a lot of projects, you've you know, throughout your career, but not only that, but you're you're this is like you're coming in with a bang with Bruce Willis too. I mean, that's huge. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It was a it was a really special. I, I you know I've worked with Bruce on several movies. This is actually my thirteenth movie working with Bruce uh, in one way, shape, or form um, because uh, uh, the company, the production company I work with, has a, a very close relationship with him and has done multiple movies with him. But uh, to be able to direct him finally was a dream, and uh, it was just super exciting to be able to 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 hang out with him. I have a funny story about the first time that he kind of recognized me again um, and uh, came you know, out of his way to come up to me, shake my hand and said, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, I'm shaking Bruce Willis's hand. I'm doing pretty freaking good right now. <laughs> it's like, what, what do you think I'm doing? Bad? <laughs> I just, it's just funny when you have that, you know, kind of star power, the energy that you can just put it, you know, put into somebody just by saying, being nice to them and saying hi. But uh, yeah, working with him was great and he's, uh, He's just such a, a, a star and, and such a natural talent and such an amazing uh, person to, to you know, have on, on camera because, you know, um, I've been a fan since Moonlighting. So, yeah. That's great. Well, let's, let's, let, we'll get back to, to Bruce in a little bit. But first, uh, I want to talk about the actual storyline. What was it about the storyline that made you want to, I want to direct it? Yeah, well, um, uh, you know, I had been, I had looked at a, a number of different scripts um, with uh, the production company. And this particular movie had, it had a quality to it that I felt like really transported you to another um, a, a kind of a, a small world, a, an intimate world of, um, and I just really loved the dialogue and, um, it, it just, it had a lot of flawed characters and I just love the idea of doing something in the ensemble, kind of an ensemble piece where each character was significant and had a significant role. Um, and it, when I first got the script, I saw the potential for that. It was very, uh, it was close, but we, uh, you know, I had a great writer that was really collaborative and I was able to work with him and and really build on that. And that's one of the things that was really cool about uh, working on this because I come from theater. So um, I was a, a theater actor for many years when I was a child and, and through my teens. And so being able to um, you know, work in a, in a similar context where you've got uh, um, you know, a, f a few characters, they're all important. They all play an important role. Uh, that was probably the biggest part of what attracted me to it. Mm -hmm. Um, I understand that you guys were supposed to start rolling right when the pandemic pretty much started and you, from what I read, you kind of had a chance to tweak it a little bit. Did you make any um, changes from the original script to when you finally were able to be on set in November? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there was definitely a lot of polish. The structure and the bones and the story was written by um, Bill Lawrence and he is a great writer. This is actually his first uh, film that is uh, is being uh, his first script that's being turned into a film. Um, having said that, yeah, I mean, I'm you know, I guess I'm a little bit of a control freak. So I, when I kind of got to get my teeth into it, and I had time due to the the pause in the pandemic, uh, you know, it was it was a great opportunity to really just live with the script, eat it, breathe it, sleep it, and and then ultimately um, make the the adjustments and, 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 you know, kind of work with the actors, really, we got to polish the script with each actor. So I really wanted to make it very collaborative. So everybody really felt good about what they were saying and why they were saying it. Because I knew when we got on set, we weren't going to have the luxury of having those conversations. One of the things that I actually liked about the film was how somehow you got these characters to talk about each other's stories in a way so that the audience has a feel of a slight background enough to have some sort of emotional feeling for them. Try not to say too much to my end. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, yeah, I think that what, uh, you know, what I'm really hoping for with the movie is that um, 
you know, people are surprised at what they don't know about the movie. Right now, I think a lot of people think they know the movie, they kind of get it. Um, you know, yes, it's a cast of cat and mouse, nonstop action kind of thriller uh, vibe, but there's a lot of heart in the movie as well. And there's a lot of character development that we spent a lot of time doing, as I mentioned before. And because of that, um, you know, my most, the most important thing that I really wanted to do was uh, care about the actors. And, uh, you know, my background uh, for many years, I've done a lot of behind the scenes work uh, with on, on movies and I've interviewed a lot of actors and I've edited a lot of projects. And Mel Gibson was one of the projects that, um, that in an interview, he said, you know, you can have the best action in the world, uh, but if you don't care about the characters, you, you got nothing. And so, you know, I, I, that, I really took that to heart and I really tried to, to reflect that. And uh, in answer to your question, that was a very long answer, but um, uh, yeah, that was a lot of actually what we did, uh, you know, to build, uh, to build it up and to, uh, um, it was just a big part of what I wanted to do with making movies is is build characters that you care about and whether you care you want them to win or you want them to lose you just want to care so i think that's what um what i'm excited for people to see and and the backstories and the kind of the depth uh between you know with within all the characters and what their motivations are and their arcs and their stakes and all that good stuff and the reason i say that is because of the character billy i didn't like billy and then later on when i'm like oh you know, she's a mother, she has a kid, and she's like, I have a kid. Like, you start seeing this vulnerable side, and it's like, well, maybe I do like her a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to we're gonna not do too many spoilers here, but no, I'm just kidding. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's so hard with a movie, especially this movie, not to, um, to, to kind of share or spoil a little bit because there's um there's so much of what happens in the movie is is important and and uh and with billy's character uh played by lala kent um she really you know we made a decision early on that everybody was going to go really big with southern accents and like really just kind of play it up and you know i'm a huge like coen brothers fan and 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 tarantino and i, I just love movies that the characters a little larger than life, a little bit over the top. And uh, and so I felt like, you know, we could have fun doing that. And her character um, really, because of that, I think it amplifies what she does. And 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 yeah, you do, um, again, it, what people hopefully, uh, well, I, what, I, what I think people will realize when they watch the movie uh, or discover is that they, uh, you're going to, you know, care about um, the characters, you know, you're going to have compassion for everybody in, in one way, shape or form. And that's what makes it a unique kind of film. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that was just, uh, that was part of what I, what I was going for. And, uh, and again, like all of those bits were written in um, later to amplify that and to create, um, more and more connection to the characters. Mm -hmm. This is a very character-driven film. I mean, that any, people will tell you, um, any of the actors will tell you that, you know, what in a trailer may seem like a just a kind of a basic cat and mouse, uh, you know, action kind of high stakes thing is really a character-driven story. And, and that's what, you know, I love about filmmaking and, and, uh, and it, was, it was an amazing process. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned that the story, this, this film is about, about trust, betrayal, and abuse of power. And although it, the film is pretty much covered like an underlining of a morality themes, you're doing this for entertainment. So how, as a director, did you, in a, did, is it for you like challenging to, yeah, you're covering these themes, but then as an entertainer, just to entertain and have fun and have a little bit of, you know, themes that can, you know, kind of funny story you know i love movies whether they're action movies um well well mainly action movies that that introduce you know humor and levity and take you a little bit of on a roller coaster ride emotionally and it's not just intensity around uh the, the plot and so that was another big part that uh, i injected into the movie that wasn't originally in the movie it was all pretty much straightforward um, you know, kind of dark, gritty thriller. 
And I really wanted to do that. So when the producers asked me, so how do you, how are you planning on doing this? What do you see? What's your, you know, what's your direction or what's your vision for this? I said, well, you know, it's going to be action and it's going to be drama and, it, and it's going to have some comedy. And then the producers were like, uh, comedy, um, <laughs> excuse me, did you say comedy? And I was like, <clears throat> well, yeah, I mean, the kind of, there's some funny bits and hold on a second. Um, get Tim on the phone. Um, we need to have a talk about this. All of a sudden, all these people are jumping on a phone call. And I was like, oh, shit, what did I do? Uh, and everybody was just kind of like, OK, so uh, the distributors didn't buy a comedy. The, the production company uh, didn't pay for a comedy. How, how is this funny? You know, it's like a Joe Pesci thing. Like, is this funny to you? This movie is funny to you? How is this funny? And uh, and I learned very quickly that I had to be very careful with the choice that the words that I uh, picked for. Uh, describing what I was trying to do. So we landed on levity, a little bit of levity here and there. And I think that that's uh, um, something that you'll see in the movie too, which is, you know, it allows you to, kind of, again, feel a range of emotions, be entertained. I feel like when you entertain, you know, you laugh, you cry, you, you know, you have all of these range of emotions. So that's what I was, uh, that's, that's the main thing that I think I was going for. And also with the pacing of the film as well, um, you know, making sure that we're, we're moving along and everything, you know, keeps you kind of on your seat, keeps you engaged and keeps you invested really throughout. Um, how was it for you? <laughs> well, I enjoy, I really enjoyed the scenes with the two deputies. Right. And they're just like, yeah. like kind of BSing, not uptight, although they're like searching for, you know, something, it's, they're on a, a, a hard task, you know, they have a boss to report to, but yeah, they're kind of like just talking that, that I enjoy that part. That's where I saw it. Like, yeah, yeah. It kind of takes you yeah. away from, for a moment of the, the action, the chasing, because you're entertained by these two characters. So that was that was a highlight. That's why I pointed it out. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad you, you got that. And I, a lot of people who do watch the movie, they say, you know, uh, uh, friends and so forth that I've sh shared it with, they just say, you know, I wasn't expecting to have, you know, all of these elements in it and I wasn't expecting to, it to be that way and so that's the fun surprise that I think that people will take for the movie and 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 I'm excited to see you know the reactions of people once they watch the movie and see how layered the movie is in terms of uh, um, you know doing something a little bit unique in this genre. Mm -hmm. And then you have this badass Shannon later that I'm thinking this is like the female uh, Rambo uh, when she's just like all beat up, she's like has this her shirt tied, you know, to protect her from you know not getting more losing blood. But I'm just like, whoa! I got that vibe when she's running with a gun. Yeah, yeah, she was awesome, and uh, you know, Jamie King is amazing. She's a great actress, and she's again like I, I, she has the ability to really emote so much on her face, and and I think people just connect with her. I mean, she was a, a model for many years, and she's just has a, there's like a piece of all of us inside of her that is like, you know, that we see. And that's why she, that's what's just so wonderful about watching her on, um, on the, uh, on the, on the screen. So well, congratulations again, and people are going to be pretty entertained and surprised for sure. Thank you so much. And I appreciate uh, you taking the time to watch the movie and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I, I wish you all the best and um, cross your fingers for me. I will. Same to you. I look forward <laughs> to your second film. <laughs> Thank you. Thank You're you very welcome. much. Thank you. Okay. Bye. -bye.